Welcome to Greece. So we've just flown in off the back of the house in Spain and we've got a bunch of new founders here. Damn, you right. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> we've got we've got some unexpected guests. I don't know who they are. I actually don't think they know where they are either. They're just checking the sunset. Communal pool area, supposedly. Come on. This is the pool. And as I was saying, we just flew in from Spain. We're here for 10 days with a bunch of founders again. This time, a new crew from Art of Mondays. And to be honest, there's no real agenda. We definitely have a few things we want to do while we're here, but otherwise, if you want to lie by the pool for a week or work hard for a week or go on a boat trip, it's kind of up to you. So I'll intro you to all the guys at some stage and uh, show you what we get up to. Thanks, Cam. All right, Victor, I need your name, your age, and what are you working on while you're here? Victor, 20, 28 years old, working on building this um, brand from scratch, water bottle called Under. I'm here to be inspired by uh, like-minded people, to reflect on myself and grow both at a personal and business-wise. I'm about to smash some eggs, and I think <laughs> getting a bit overcooked here. They're running today. They're running today. Yeah. Maybe in the afternoon, yeah. need to ask Conor then. Uh, Daniel? from Gold Coast, Australia. I'm 24. And right now, I'm just on Twitter, just scrolling, not really doing much. But in general life, I got four businesses, Mastermind, two SaaSes, uh, sort of algorithm, automation related stuff, like making money in crypto. And I got a course, a little course guru side hustle sort of thing. So yeah, I wanted to meet some people not in crypto. You know, crypto is a bit of a boring space. Ecom is, I don't say, I don't think there's as much money in a lot of the businesses but the people who run these businesses are much more interesting than crypto people who tend to have money but none of the personality so it's a good uh good change up of things everyone here is super cool so yeah We're down the beach right now after being rained out all morning so the sun has finally peaked out from behind the clouds making the most of it victor's swimming the guys are trying to do pull-ups and muscle-ups but yeah it's been a real chill one today Oh. oh, let's go. <laughs> I got my own room this time. The reason I share that is because in the last house, I was sharing a room with my brother Flynn and my best mate Liam. On this channel, I want to be aspirational, of course, but also authentic and attainable. You know, I think this sort of lifestyle and opportunities can be created with a few grand a month in, in many cases. In this case, the house was $30,000 for 10 days, which sounds like a lot, I know, uh, but we struck a deal to do some content for them as well. We brought the cost down quite a lot, uh, under 20, and then you share it among 10 people and it becomes really achievable. So uh, I just wanted to kind of show you that it is possible to do things like this. In our case, we just split the cost among all the people here. Um, they're all members of Art of Mondays, so we just bring people together I like this and make it achievable because big vision for me is like just create spaces that allow curious people to come together and make the magic themselves. You know, it's not about mentoring people. It's not about, uh, you know, expensive retreats and masterminds where you paid 10 grand to be somewhere for a week in a luxury place. It's more about great minds coming together and just everyone being better off for it. So I'm super pumped for this week and to show you guys what we get up to. I just loaded my film camera. Um, with another roll of film, it's a Ricoh GR1B for anyone wondering. And I've had this bad boy for a couple of years now. It's my trusted little workhorse. Super stoked to get my own space this time. I was fully expecting to have to share a room, but yeah, I'll check in shortly. We're at the track. We're gonna do a few laps, maybe some sprints. We just kind of jumped the fence to get in here, so I don't know if we're allowed here, but it's a cool track, so. Hi. What are we doing? Practicing handstands. And practicing handstands. Come on, Jenna. Come on. Go. Come on. I'm not running like that. I'm running like that. But only for the night, tell a day. My name is Mike. I'm 28, I think. And I'm finally working on a personal project after 
spending the past few days working for clients, so I'm really happy about it. You wanna see? <laughs> so I made a video from Illos. Um, I'm here to spend quality time with like-minded people and it was really like that. Uh, my name is Andrei, I'm 21, I'm from Ukraine. I'm primarily working on a design agency and uh, consulting in terms of UX design and UI and branding. Currently I'm also figuring out what else can I do, uh, maybe some other businesses or doubling down on what I already do right now. People here are crazy cool everyone is like very inspiring i see what other people are doing and i'm kind of seeing what i can also do biggest takeaway for me is that if you want to do business like you have to focus on uh taking action and execution and like when i see people are just it's not hard for them they're just doing stuff like as cami said throwing shit to the wall see what sticks and doubling down on that so the crew from back home just arrived and they're not staying with us at the house, but they're staying nearby. We're gonna pick them up now, and then we're going out for dinner. We're at this place called Saracanico Beach. Arguably one of the prettiest places ever. Best cliffs jumps in the world. Perfect little run up, little hop off. And you've just got beautiful jumps everywhere, crystal clear water. Good crew, life is good. Look at this, look at this. I just ripped my shorts. Oh, oh my god. god. On impact. On impact. That's how high I was. 12 freaking meters, dude. Sorry, man. Nah, I don't, I can't nothing. Liam. <laughs> I've been in a melee mood, so I haven't been performing at my peak, but uh, we've been having a few, a few good jumps, and I think I'm quite happy so far. Pants ripped. I'm just sweaty, there's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, spaghetti, yeah, he's nervous, but on the surface it was calm and ready to drop for this, but he kicks off. It's me from the future, and I'm just editing the video right now, and I realize there's no way I'm gonna get uploaded in time. It's actually Friday today, I try to upload on Thursdays. So to all my loyal subscribers, all 1,500 of you, I apologize, uh, but it will be up soon. I wanted to share a concept that we've been talking about at the house, and it's this idea of going backwards in order to go forwards some of you might have watched ready player one it's a great movie my young brothers watched it like seven times the day it came out <laughs> and i've seen it a few times and uh and for me personally last year when i stepped away from two previous ventures to go incomeless and spend six months traveling and finding out more about myself and just trying to understand where i can spend the next 10 years of my life in true alignment i recognized that it was on paper a huge step backwards but for me it was an exercise in opportunity cost it's like if i'm going to spend the next year of my life doing this one thing uh, but i can create more impact more income more alignment doing this other thing even if it means going backwards um, it's a worthy sacrifice see i don't really know where i was going with that just trying to brain dump get things off my mind um it's funny it's like it looks like sunshine and rainbows and every day is great and all the rest um, but it's actually been kind of difficult to just be in flow while I'm here and I'll talk a bit more about it probably in the next video but uh, I'm not sleeping super great and not that there's a whole lot more responsibility yeah I'm hosting this trip but I don't feel the, the pressure of that it's more just just the the need to make more decisions it's like those founders that you know Zuck and Steve Jobs and whatever who wore the same outfit every day or close to so they just had to make less choices in a day and it allowed them to be more effective and, and I feel that there's just so many micro decisions that your mind is making and it takes energy um, so focus for me going forwards is reeling back on that staying a bit more relaxed getting some alone time and uh, yeah we got so much cool shit happening this week I wish I could show you but you're gonna have to wait for the next one appreciate you being here subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one peace